Blog Talk Radio, the world's largest online radio network. Welcome to eGems Radio on Tuesday, August 14th. I'm your host, Stacey Monroe. Joining me today is American singer, musician, actor, dancer, and model, Max Snyder. Sorry for the interruption as we had technical difficulties, but we're now back on the air. And I'd like to thank Max for joining me today here at eGems Radio. Thank you, Max, for joining me. No problem. What's up, baby? How we doing? Doing great. How are you doing? We just got here to the South Shore Mountain and we have a show tonight opening for Victoria Justice and really excited as always. It's, it's a beautiful day out and I'm just enjoying the fun. Well, that's great. Well, let's get this interview started. Where did you grow up? I grew up uh, half in Manhattan, New York City and half in Woodstock, New York. So I was born in, in Manhattan and I uh, moved up to uh, Woodstock, New York for elementary and middle school and then I moved back to uh, to Manhattan for high school. So Sort of my upbringing was all in New York City and New York. Yes, and um, when did you first start to sing, um, act, dance, and model? Uh, I, saw, I did my first show when I was when I was five. I was in a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and I played uh-huh. King of the Oompa Loompas. And uh, and I was the youngest kid in the in the theater company in Woodstock. Uh, but even before that, I saw my first Broadway show when I was four. I saw Beauty and the Beast, and uh, and I came home from seeing the show. And I just I, I reenacted the entire show on my living room table for my family, and and that was kind of right when everybody knew that that's what I had to plug, and I I never wanted to stop, and I just kept doing shows from then. Yes. What obstacles did you have to face to become well known? You know, I think it's it's, it's like an ending industry. There's a lot of rejection, and there's a lot of people that tell you can't do it. And what's most important is is to keeping the people you love and admire most close to you. And believing in yourself and, and just and just loving what you do. If you love what you do and you're passionate about it and you're hardworking and you have that drive, then nothing nothing can stop you. So that really yes. kept me. Yeah. And how was it when you first worked with uh, Kurt Snyder? Oh, it was awesome. I mean, Kurt's, Kurt's the man. We're, we're like brothers now, even though we are not actually brothers. So many people think because we have the same last name, Schneider. We are, but we're, we're so close. And uh, we met actually doing a, we did a cover video, an iPhone cover video for this girl, Avery, who's uh-huh. a really great girl, uh, this video of Stereo Hearts. And that's when I first met him. And I had actually known his videos before. And I told him I was a big fan of his work. And I'd love to, to do um, do videos with him. And he was so cool about it. We started writing songs. And we've been really tight. We actually uh, wrote a song that's going to be on Cody Simpson's album coming out soon called Standing in China. And uh, and we've been writing all the time and, and just been doing lots of videos and he's he's the best you know he's done so much for my career and and just as a friend too he's been he's been an awesome guy to me I, I'm really grateful for him. That's great to hear. Thank you for tuning in um, to E Gems Radio. I'm Stacey Monero. Joining me is Max Snyder. Hey. Hey Max. When did you first start? To, uh, when did you first audition for the show How to Rock? Uh, I auditioned uh, early last year. And uh, I was actually uh, in callback for, for Rag, the movie I did for Nickelodeon as well. And uh, and the How to Rock audition just came up one week. I've, I've been auditioning for Nickelodeon for a few years now, different auditions. And and, uh, and this audition came up on a Saturday, which is kind of rare. Usually your auditions are weekdays. But my agent called me the day before and said, hey, there's this pilot audition. Can you go in tomorrow? So I went in, and it just and it just hit. The part was right. And and I, I had the callback on the Monday, and then they flew me out on Wednesday to L.A., I tested with a few other great guys who who uh, um, were were also in for the role, and I ended up booking the role and staying in LA. And, and so the the audition process was was definitely it felt like it was an overnight thing. It definitely took a long time to get to that point for Nickelodeon. I'm so grateful for it. Nickelodeon's been fantastic to me. The moment you found out you were casted for the show, how did it feel? It felt incredible. I was jumping around the house we were staying at at the time. I jumped around the whole house and I was freaking out and I called my best friends and my family and it was just, it was one of the best feelings in the world. It was sort of, you know, it was, it was such a, it was such a nerve wracking few days of waiting for that call to see what was happening to the heart and, and to hear, hear those words. And then our executive producer, David Israel, who is the coolest guy ever, gave us all personal calls, everybody who got passed. And called us and he was like, yeah, I'm so excited that you're part of the show. And it was just, it was, it was the best feeling in the world to, to hear it straight from him, to hear that he said, you know what, you're the guy and I can't wait to get started. And it was an incredible experience. I loved shooting the show. Yes. And um, how was it working with your fellow castmates? Fantastic. Everybody in the cast has, has really become a family. They, everybody is so, so talented, so kind, so so wonderful and, and and we were we were friendly on and off and 
you know, we, we would spend every day together and, and, you know, it was just, it was just great being able to not only work with these people, but go to movie nights and go hiking and, and we're all still really great friends to this day. A lot of them come to my conference and I go and see their shows and it's really cool. They're all awesome. Yeah. Uh, okay. So this Saturday on How to Rock, Sheila Green will be making a guest appearance. Yes. How is it working with the superstar? Dude, Sheila was the coolest guy ever. Oh my gosh. I was already a huge fan before I met him. And then when I met him, he's like, he's so, he's so inspirational and so down to earth and humble. And you know, you see a lot of these big stars and they come on set and they have someone else standing in for them while they do their thing in the dressing room, but not Silo. Silo was there every second of the day that he shot with us, waiting, waiting for his walking, waiting to shoot. He's such a genuine guy. It was just like the coolest. And musically, I look up to him so much so. And it was just, it was, it was incredible working with him. Not only seeing his attitude outside of, outside of his professionalism, but just, just how, just how cool of a guy he was. It was, it was the best part. It was, it was really fantastic working with him. That's great. So back in 2009, you were also casted to be on Law & Order SVU. How is mm -hmm. it being on Law & Order? Oh, it's crazy. I, I grew up watching a lot of Law & Order. And, and, you know, in New York, that's sort of the show to do. If you, if you can get Law & Order, like, there you go. You're good as an actor in New York. And I, I was so privileged to get that part on SVU. I mean, I loved the show. And working on it, it was my first time on a set. And, you know, it's so funny how... In a lot of ways, growing up watching TV, there's this certain magic that you see. You wonder how it's all being done. And then, and then when you get on the set, certain pieces of that magic, they, they, they get, they get, they get ruined in one way, but they, they get rebirthed in another way, where you see how incredible these, these different people make it happen and make the show what it is. And, and it was so cool being a part of it, being like, wow, I'm going to be a part of an episode mm -hmm. that I watch this show all the time. And, uh, it was, it was so awesome being a part of it. It was definitely the best way to, to jump into the TV world. So. Yes. How was it working with Kiki Palmer, Drake Bell, and Nick Cannon on uh, Rags? Was it everything you expected? Uh, everything. I mean, you know, I didn't know what to expect. They, they were, I, I, I knew that I had to spend a lot of time with Kiki and that we were going to be very romantic in the movie. And Kiki is the coolest girl. I mean, she... She, again, is, is another one of those fantastic who is not only so talented, but so humble and genuine, just, just she's herself on and off screen. And, and I, um, and I loved working with her. I mean, she taught me so much and, and it was amazing. We became such great friends. And, you know, even, even, uh, at the time I, I, I had, I had my girlfriend, she had a boyfriend on set and we'd have these kissing scenes and they'd be, I'd after every kissing scene be like, yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. And it was, and it was just so great how everything was so professional and she was, uh -huh. He's just the coolest. And then Drake Bell, of course, he, he, he's the man. He actually turned me on to one of my favorite books. It's called Moonwalking with Einstein. And it's uh -huh. a book all about memorization and, and just a really fantastic book. And, and we had a lot of great talks. And, and Nick Cannon, I always watched him when I was younger. He was the man. I mean, everybody on that movie, Rags, was a dream come true. It, it was everything I could have ever wanted in, in a first movie doing. And, and, and I, I just had a blast. Everybody was the best. And what was your favorite part of the movie? Ooh, it's so tough. I mean, there were so many great parts in the movie that I just loved shooting. But I definitely say, when I asked that question, one of the most special moments for me was um, the pawn shop scene, where I do the song, uh, Nothing Gets Better. And there was just something about that song and that scene that just really, I got to do everything I wanted. I was dancing on pianos and singing and jumping around, and it was just like everything that, that I love to do in one little scene. And, and I, I, had to, I had the best time in that scene. That's definitely one of my favorites. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to eGems Radio. Joining now again is Max Snyder. Max? Yes. <laughs> Thank you for joining me again. Um, so I understand you're currently on the Make It in America tour with Victoria Justice. How is it yeah. being on tour with Victoria? Awesome. Victoria is the bomb. She is the coolest girl. I think everybody you've asked me about, they're all the coolest. Uh, Victoria is so sweet. Like, you, you, she's so... She's such a huge star, but you'll meet her in person. She's the nicest girl. It's, it's, it's just amazing how humble she has stayed and how talented she is. And, and it's a pleasure every night singing with her. It's, it's, uh, it's a wonderful journey, and, and I'm so blessed to be here with my band opening for her, and the crowds are great. And, and it's just been the best time. It's my first tour, and it's definitely not my last. I've been having the best time of my life, and, and I, I definitely hope to go right back on the road when this one's done. Yes. So how do you feel... So how did you feel when you got casted for an ad for Dolce & Gabbana with Madonna? Oh, I was crazy. Still, the most, one of the most surreal days of my life. 
uh, I mean, uh, the whole, uh, you know, the, the, the story is very long, but to, to break it down, basically, I, uh, I went in for a casting uh, through a modeling agency that I, I got in as an actor for this G2 Italy thing, but I was I ended up being too young, but they called me back to the social Nevada thing, and I was walking over from school, and they're like, hey, can you go to this audition right now? So I said, okay, yeah, fine. And so I go down, they take a couple pictures of me, and they're like, okay, you can go. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, cool. So I leave, and uh, I don't see anything of it. I'm like, yeah, I thought it was okay. So I get a haircut. And, uh, and I find out on Tuesday, the next week, they, they call me and they're like, hey, so it, it looks like you kind of booked the Phil Changabana thing. And I was like, what? I just was like, you know what? This is crazy. And so they were like, but here's the catch. The, the casting director has chosen another boy, but Madonna's chosen you. So you're both going to show up, and when you get there, they're going to choose between you. One of you is going to get the job and do the shoot, and one of you's not. So I'm freaking out. Like, I, I've never had that out. I'm like, I, well, what does that mean? Like, I'm like, half so excited and half so nervous because I'm like, I could just show up and they'll be like, no. So I, I, I get this place and basically I'm on, I'm at the, I'm at the, the most security around this awesome, um, awesome church in, in Harlem, New York. And, uh, and I walk in and, and nobody knows about this. I'm asking everyone, nobody speaks English. They're all either speaking Japanese or Italian. And I'm trying to ask like, when is this going down? What are they going to choose between us? So they just keep doing my hair and, and all that stuff. And, uh, and finally, after a few hours, I go into a room, and, and we're testing for the first shot where I'm dancing with her. And, and her, her stand-in, who is the first person, lovely Australian woman, um, it, who actually speaks English. I'm like, oh, my God, oh, who actually speaks English. It's great. So I talk to her, and I say, hey, do you know what's going down? And they say, no, I mean, has nobody talked to you all morning? I'm like, well, you never know. And she's like, yeah, that boy, uh, they told that boy last night that he didn't get the job. He's had the job all day. Nobody told you. I was like, what? Nobody told me. It's been like three hours. I'm freaking out. And five seconds later, she walked, Madonna walks in the room. And it was just like, I thought beams of light were going to like burst from the ceiling. But uh-huh. it was really amazing. She was just, you know, a beautiful, lovely person. who just walked in the room, had a coconut water, put it down, and came up to me and was like, hey, what's your name? I was like, she didn't even have to say her name. I was like, you're Madonna. Oh, my gosh. And, and, uh, and basically... I, I was uh, I was doing this fancy shot where I was supposed to be really disgusted because she was my mother. I didn't want to dance with my mother. But she ends up, she didn't know that, I guess. And she goes, why are you making that face? I was like, I don't know. Whatever face you want to make, you Madonna, whatever. And she, she pulls my back on and she's like, I'll teach you how to dance. And that was the moment where I was like, oh, my gosh, this is ridiculous. And the rest of the shoot, I was only supposed to be in that shot. And she ended up taking me to, uh, to five out of the seven shots in the shoot. Uh, and it was... And it was the wow. same day. I, I left the place and they called me a car and they're like, all right, you're done. And I was like, that all happened. That day was, that just happened. That was insane. And just there, uh-huh. I looked at those ads and I'm like, this, that was amazing. And it was definitely, again, one of the most real days of my life. So that's the story. It definitely was a little longer than I thought it would be, but I had to get all those details. In. So I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, it's okay. <laughs> um, so who inspires you? <laughs> okay. Um, I have so many inspirations. Uh, I, uh, musically, I love Bruno Mars, Jason Mraz, um, Maroon 5, uh, Ed Sheeran, especially, uh, uh, a lot of really great, uh, you know, I love people who, who sing, who sing live and really are incredible artists. I saw Ed Sheeran live a couple months back and met him after a concert and he was the coolest guy and just like his, his music live is just as good, if not better than it is when I watch it on YouTube or, or, or listen to it on my iPod. And then acting wise, I love Joseph Gordon Levitt is a huge, I'm so inspired by him, especially seeing where he came from in the sitcom world to, you know, being where he is now in the film world. I really, I, I would love to have a career like his and, and do the same things he's done, uh, as well as, you know, um, and a lot of, a lot of other fantastic actors out there. And yeah, those are, those are a few of my inspirations. My mom, of course, she's the best. So I always have to say her and my dad, cause they just, of like, course. Them. I, I would not be where I am and I love them so much. And I'm long on the tour with me, actually, and it's been a huge help. And, yeah, I love to do that. I understand you support an anti-bullying organization. What would you say to the people who are being bullied and or have been bullied? I, I, would, I would say I was, I was um, you know, I, I did ballet when I, was, when I was a kid, and I danced a lot, and, and I got bullied for it. You know, there's not everybody has the same ideals as, as you do and doesn't always think things are right, but that doesn't make it okay to bully someone. And, uh... And I, what I did and what I always say is go to the people you love and to the adult that, that you trust mm-hmm. and tell them about it. Don't keep it for yourself because, because they can help you. And, and I think that's one of the biggest things that helped me growing up was knowing that I had people that I loved and trust 
that could protect me from from those people who just who just hadn't hadn't been told not to do that sort of thing yet. You know, bullies are people too, but they just have to learn that that's not okay to treat people in that way. And if you're being bullied, just talk to someone you love and trust. I think that's the most important thing. Know that other people go through it, and and you're not the only one. Yes, that's great. Well, we'll be when we come. I understand you'll be singing happy birthday to one of your fans. Absolutely. Thank you everyone for holding. Now that we have now that we have Max Snyder back on the line, we're gonna go ahead and bring Max back on. Max? Yes. Hi Max. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and bring uh the your fan, Christina, on the line, on air. So you can go ahead and sing happy birthday to her, okay? Christina. Yeah. You're on the air. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Christina. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, my brother. I hope you have a great birthday. Enjoy it. Yes. Love it. Yes. Um, Christina, do you have a question for Max? Um, would you date a fan? You know, people are people, and I always say whether someone is an admirer of what I, I love to do, or if they're not, I, uh, I, if I have a connection with someone, then I have a connection with someone. So, yes. There you go, Christina. Max? Yeah. We're going to go ahead and start accepting fan calls. We're going to start off with uh, Kaylee. She's actually calling in right now. So let me go ahead and bring her on the air, okay? Hello. Kaylee? Hi. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm wonderful. Where where are you from? Illinois. And I saw your concert the other day in Wisconsin. Oh, sick. Very nice. Did you like it? Yes, it was the most amazing concert. That's so cool. Thank you. Yeah, we love Wisconsin. It's so cool. It was the best. Thank you for coming out. Thank you. <laughs> um, I was wondering, will you be doing any more medleys with Victoria Justice? Yeah, you know, we we just might be. We were talking about after we did the last one, we were like, we got to do another one. So hopefully when we get back from tour, we can all get together with Kurt again and do another one. Okay. Yeah, so if anybody have, has any ideas just listening in, you're welcome to please send them my way and, and maybe we'll use one. Okay, thank you. Oh, no problem. Nice to meet you. Going on to the next caller, her name is Katie. Katie, you're on the air now. Hey. Hey, Katie. How you doing, man? <laughs> you good? Huh? I said, I'm good. <laughs> you good? That's good. I'm glad you're good. <laughs> I was wondering you know if you were going to go on another tour. Sorry. I will definitely be going on another tour. I don't know which one or where yet, but I will absolutely. I mean, my performance is my favorite thing, so I, uh, I definitely will be. Well, that's good because I'm way down here in Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> where are you yeah. from? In Alabama. Oh, okay. Very cool. Yeah. I hope we get to come down there and, and do a performance. Oh, thank you. No problem. Hey, um, my friend is turning 16 tomorrow. <laughs> she wants to talk to you. Yes. Hey, girl. What's your name? My name's Lindsay. Nice to meet you, Lindsay. Thank, thank you for your love. <laughs> You're welcome. No problem. That's awesome. And you're from you're from the same place I'm assuming. You guys are chilling together. Yeah. Cool. That's nice. Do you guys <laughs> sing or dance at all? <laughs> I can't wait to see you on another tour. I was wanting to get oh. to you so bad. I know, I hope you guys can. I'd love to meet you in person. <laughs> That's so cool I'm talking to you. I know, right? We're just talking on the phone. It's casual. Other people listening. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're good friends. Talking on the phone. That's right. That's right. 
Max and Katie, we're, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next fan because you have a lot of fans calling in, okay? Okay, next caller, his name is Nicholas, and uh, he, you're, Nicholas, you're on the air now. Hi, this is Nick's friend, Ali. I'm his... <laughs> Hello. Hello. What's up, up Ali? Hi, Max. How are you doing? I love you. I love you too, girl. Where are you from? I'm actually dying. Um, I'm from Florida. You should really come here. I do. I love Florida. I was just in Florida a few, uh, few weeks ago. Really? We're in Florida. Yeah. Um, South Florida. I'm um, like by Boca. Oh, awesome. Yeah. I know I have a lot of good friends that are there from Boca. So I know the area <laughs> well. I've been there many a time. You should definitely come back okay. because you're I awesome love. and I love you. And <laughs> Okay. Well, my friend Nick would like to say hi. Yeah. Hey Max. What's up, Nick? What's up? Um, all I want to say is I love your voice. You got a killer voice, and I love those um, music videos you make with Kurt. Thank you so much. I, that's what I love. That's why we do it. Thank you. Thank you for liking them, and thank you for your kind words. No problem. I'll, I'll buy your next CD, whatever. But thank yeah, you I so like. Much. I love your voice. It's awesome. Dude, that's, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Okay, hold on. Here's Alex one more time. Nice. Thank you for talking to us, Max. <laughs> My pleasure, baby. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> Awkward silence. If any other callers would like to call in, you can call in at 347-215-6800. Uh, Max, we have the next caller. Her name is Montana. Hey, hey. Cool. Montana. Hello. Hey, Montana. How you doing, girl? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm talking to Max Snyder. Yeah. <laughs> you was party? You guys having a party? Yeah, we had a party yesterday. <laughs> That's beautiful. Get it, girl. Where are you from? I'm from... I'm in Kissimmee right now, but I'm originally from Port Charlotte, Florida. Hi, hi. You can do the I love Florida. We were just talking about love Florida. <laughs> Feeling it. Oh my god. <laughs> what do you guys what did you guys do at your party? Anything exciting? Oh, we just, you know, party. <laughs> you know, party, 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 party. That's very nice. It's a beautiful oh my day. god, I can't breathe. <laughs> Alright, she wants to ask you. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. Okay. So my sister really likes when you sing with Victoria Justice, so we were wondering if you guys could do Sunday morning by Moon Five. Oh, that is my one of my favorite songs ever. <laughs> I love that song. I I will I'll hit her up. I'll go talk to her after we're done with the phone call. I'll be like, "Yo, you want to do Sunday morning?" <laughs> it's right. one of her favorite songs too. So thank you for the suggestion. Let's see if you can. Yeah, but um, I have advice actually. I like to, um, I'm a singer. I love to sing. So like, how do you get over stage fright? Like, how did you get over it? You know, I think it's something that just just comes with time. You just got to keep performing in front of people. And you know what I always think of is. You know, if you if you sing for maybe it's your mom, or your dad, or someone that you're really close to, and you don't get nervous, think of it as just multiple singular people. You know, it's just it's just one person multiplied by however many hundred thousand, but they all want you to do your best. They all have a good show. So just just give them your all and 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 give them a performance you would like to be given if you went to a concert. That's 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 what I always think of. Make it make it personal, but make it a big show. So that's how you get over it. Yeah. All right, thank you. No problem. All right. All right. Thank you, Montana, for calling no in. You're welcome. <laughs> Max? All right, Max, we have Kaylee on the line. Kaylee? Hi, Max. I'm such a huge fan. Thank you so much, Kaylee. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm wonderful. I'm chilling. I'm sitting under a nice tree and just enjoying this home car. The connection daisy is beautiful. Where are you from, Kaylee? I'm from El Paso, Texas. You can do the dope. I love Texas. Very cool. That's awesome. What do you what What do you like to do? Um, mostly hip hop. Getting a go. Break it down. So you dance? I'm sorry, what? So you dance? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, sweet. So, do you do other, any other uh, dance styles? Um. No, nah, just hip hop. That's cool. So cool. I just I just shake my legs a lot and love dancing too. So you know, do whatever you do. If you love moving, just move. If you love hip hop. That's the way to do it. It's awesome. Yeah. 
That's so how old are you? I just turned 12, uh, August 2nd. Beautiful. Happy belated birthday. Oh, thank you. How's it feel being 12? And, uh, I have a question for you. Go for it. Done. You know how, are you going to the iHeartRadio Music Awards? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. Why do you ask? Well, I really wanted to go. I just want to know because you're one of my favorite singers and most of my favorite singers are going to be there. Thank you so much. I mean, I'd love to go, hopefully. I haven't, I haven't gotten the invite, so maybe they will, maybe they won't, but I would love to meet you in person and, and thank you for, thank you for saying that. Thank you for your support. I, I'm, I'm really happy to hear that, that you enjoy what I do. That's awesome. Thank, thanks so much, too, for talking to me. <laughs> Of I'm course, such a big fan, and I'm really looking forward to How to Rock Kilo this weekend. Uh, thank you. Oh, it's going to be super fun. I hope you enjoy it. Beautiful. Well, it was nice to meet you, my dear. Daniela, you're on the air. Hi. Hi. Hey, Hi, Daniela. Hello, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's going on, baby? Nothing. Maybe up to today. Um, I'm actually like working on a drawing of you. Really? Thank you. For yeah. That. Thank you very much. Thank you for drawing something of me. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That's awesome. I'm glad to see you next week. Um, at Webster Hall. Oh, sweet! Back in New York. You guys are from New York. Uh, we're from New Jersey, but. Beautiful. That's where Spicy's from. We love New Jersey. That's <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you for getting tickets and coming. We're you know it's gonna be a really fun time. It'll be a good. Good home show back at Webster Hall. Have you ever been there before? Um, not at Webster Hall. No worries. It's a, it's a really cool venue. It's an old, it's an old venue. A lot of people have played there. Guns N' Roses is a really incredible venue, but uh, it's going to be some fun to play for everybody. It's intimate too, so we'll all be able to meet afterwards and give hugs and it'll be fun. Can't wait. <laughs> awesome. Killing it. Now, and we'll, and we'll, huh? what we're, we're going to move on to Katie. Um, she's actually mm-hmm. waiting. Uh, Katie? Yeah. yeah? Yeah? What's up, girl? Oh, hi. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Hi. What's up? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm, I'm fantastic. I'm wonderful. Where are you from? I'm from New Jersey. Yes, New Jersey. I'm New Jersey. That's beautiful. Where in New Jersey? Um, I live in Long Hill. Okay. Great. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. And and the day's been good? What have you been up to today? Um, nothing much. So cool. And I'm just chilling. I got you. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Are you coming out to the Webster Show too? What? The Webster Hall Show? Um, I was going to go and then my dad was like, uh, we can't go anymore. So. What? What up? I know. Put it down on the phone. We're going to talk to dad. What's going on here? <laughs> I'm not what was dad's that. reasoning? What was dad's reasoning? What was this? What did he say? Is he not like me? Do we have to talk? Well, he's, well, he's already taken me to see the Curry Justice, so I'll see oh, you there. Oh, I see, I see how it is. Okay. <laughs> which, which Victoria, Victoria Justice show are you seeing? What? Sorry, I'm like, which, okay. Which Victoria Justice show are you seeing? Um, Allentown. Oh, awesome. Well, I'll be there too, so I can meet you yeah. <laughs> That's cool. We could have, we could have hung out twice, but dad just had to go and do that. It's just so upset with dad right now. It's okay though. I'll forgive him. What's your dad's name? His name is Tom. Oh, Tom. Tom, Tom, Tom. <laughs> I don't know how I'll forgive you, but I will at some point. Well, tell Tom, I still respect him. He's a good man. And I understand, you know, you gotta, you gotta, <laughs> What you got to do, and it's cool. But I'm looking forward to meeting you in Allentown. <laughs> Thank you, Katie, for calling. Um, Max, now we're going to go on to Rima. Yeah, Rima, hey, you're Max. on. Hey, Max. Hey, what's up, baby? How you doing, Rima? I'm good. How are you? I am wonderful. I'm going to use a different word each time. I am splendiferal, and it's splendid and wonderful together. That is awesome. Yeah. I'm fantabulous. <laughs> yes, get it, girl. Awesome. <laughs> I'm actually from Canada. Beautiful. I love Canada. Where in Canada? Uh, Toronto, Ontario. Yes. I actually, that is the one big city I've not been to. I, I was shot rags in Vancouver and I've been to Montreal sometimes, but I have not been 
I've not been to Ontario, so I'd love to go there. Well, if you come to here, then I will definitely come to your show. Yes, awesome. (laughs) Ontario. So I feel like I've heard that it's like the New York of Canada. So I it is. It is. I was actually in New York last year, but I couldn't go to this year, so I won't be able to come to your bike for show. No, so sad. (laughs) There'll be more more shows. It's cool. Yes, I'll be seeing Rags this Friday on on what TV for the first time. I'm so excited. Oh, is it, is it premiering in Canada then? Sorry? Is it, is it premiering in Canada then? Has it not um, premiered yet? It, it actually already premiered, but I didn't see it at the time it premiered because I was studying for exams. That's all good. You got a, you got an ace. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah, I hope you, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like it. Yeah, well, I'm a huge fan of you and I think that you have amazing voice and you're so Thank talented you. and awesome. I love you. I love you too, real. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, Rima, for calling in. Thank you. Now we're going to move on to Leticia. Leticia, you're on air now. Hello. Hello, Leticia. Where are you from, Leticia? I'm from New York. Get it, girl. I love your name. Yes. You're from New York. That's beautiful. I'm a, yeah, I'm actually, it's kind of rainy, though, today, but I'm actually oh. going to your PA show, like, tomorrow. Oh, sick. Okay, and your website also. So, yeah, it's so, girl. I honestly, what happened? We're gonna have double the hug. Yes, I honestly adore you. I met you when you came for the Nick up front. Mhm. Yeah, I don't know if you remember me, but I just met oh, you yeah. there. Oh yeah. Totally outside of the hotel. Did you come to the hotel we were staying at? Outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I yeah, was the one fun. that was like bugging out and everything. Awesome. Well, I'm excited to see you again. It was a nice meeting you that time. So that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I've been a fan of yours since the beginning of How to Rock and always will be. You have, like, such an amazing voice, and I just wow. adore you. Well, thank you so much. That means so much to me, and I really appreciate the continued support. That's, that's what it's all about. That's fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> well, I hope I can get to see you tomorrow at the show. I don't know. If, I don't How is that going to work? The- I'm, trying to do, I'm trying to do meet and greet at every show we do, so... I will. I will definitely hope we get to meet and and see each other again. And and if not, the Webster Hall show. I, I'm I'm meeting everyone. I think so that'll be a great one. So it'll be fun. All right. All right. Thank you, Leticia. Bye, man. Much love. Now we have Nick on air. Nick. Hello. Hey, what's up? Hey. Um, I have a question. Yes, sir. What inspired you to be an actor slash singer? You know, everything from seeing it when I was younger on, on seeing Broadway shows, um, that was, that was really my introduction to it. And, and just looking and just knowing. I mean, it was, uh, I'm really, I'm really blessed to have looked at that stage and said, I want to do that for the rest of my life. And, and that's what happened after I saw my first Broadway show. I saw Beauty and the Beast seven times when I was little. And I saw The Lion King like five times. And, and I just, I guess that's, you know, there's just a moment when you know it's like falling in love. You just, there's, there's no doubt about it, and, and and I knew just from seeing it that I wanted to do it forever, and and that was my that was my first love for it. That's cool. Thank you. Do you, do you act or sing as well? Um, I'm getting to acting, but singing no. Okay, I'll say it's all good. That's awesome. Do you want to do TV stuff or film stuff or theater stuff? Um, anything. I don't really. I'm all around. Awesome. That's the way to be. That's the way to be. Never stop. What no no matter what. What is that? What Broadway shows were you in? I was just in a show called 13 on Broadway, uh, who, um, Ariana Grande and, and Liz Gillies from Victoria's were also in, actually. And, uh, and that was my first Broadway show. That was my first professional job, really, actually. And, uh, and yeah, that was, uh, I did a couple off Broadway shows as well, but that's the only Broadway show I've done as far, and I'd love to do some more. Sweet. Sweet. Awesome. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you, Nick. And you keep telling it. Thank you. Thank you, Nick, for calling in. All right, Max. So I understand you have to be off the air by three, and we'd like to thank you for joining us today. And there's much more fan calls that you know we wish you could accept. Oh. Unfortunately, you know you have to go. Uh, but we like to thank. We would like to thank you for your time here at Egems Radio, and uh, it was a pleasure having you here. It was my pleasure. Thank you so much. And to everyone that, that I didn't get to talk to, I hope we get to talk soon. I'm going to do some more of those surprise calls, phone booth things, and 
hopefully we can talk soon and meet. So much love and thank you for having me and have a great day. It was it was a pleasure and uh, we hope to have you back soon and hopefully we can do more fan calls. Wonderful. Sounds great. All right. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to EGEMS Radio. I'm your host, Stacey Monroe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at T-H-E-S-T-A-C-E-Y-M-O-N-R-O-E. Once again, T-H-E-S-T-A-C-E-Y-M-O-N-R-O-E. For more information, if Max will be back on EGEMS Radio for more fan calls, thank you for tuning in to EGEMS Radio, and don't forget to stay tuned for the latest. Blog Talk Radio, where millions of hosts and listeners gather. are not actually brothers, so many people think because we have the same last name, Schneider, we are, but we're, we're so close, and uh, we met actually doing a, we did a cover video, an iPhone cover video for this girl, Avery, who's a uh-huh. really great girl, uh, this video of Stereo Hearts, and that's when I first met him, and I had actually known his videos before, and I told him I was a big fan of his work, and I'd love to, to do, um, do videos with him, and he was so cool about it, we started writing songs, and we've been really tight, we actually uh, wrote a song that's going to be on Tony Simpson's album coming out soon called Staying in China and uh, and we've been writing all the time and, and just been doing lots of videos and he's he's the best. You know, he's done so much for my career and, and just as a friend too, he's been he's been an awesome guy to me. I, I'm really grateful for him. Blog Talk Radio, the world's largest online radio network. Welcome to eGems Radio on Tuesday, August 14th. I'm your host, Stacey Monroe. Joining me today is American singer, musician, actor, dancer, and model Max Snyder. Sorry for the interruption, as we had technical difficulties, but we're now back on the air. And I'd like to thank Max for joining me today here at eGems Radio. Thank you, Max, for joining me. No problem. What's up, baby? How we doing? Doing great. How are you doing? We just got here to the South Shore Mountain. And we have a show tonight opening for Victoria Justice. And really excited, as always. It's, it's a beautiful day out. I'm just enjoying the sun. Well, that's great. Well, let's get this interview started. Where did you grow up? I grew up... Uh, half in Manhattan, New York, and I was kind of right when everybody knew that that's what I had to plug, and I, I never wanted to stop, and I just kept doing shows from then. Yes. What obstacles did you have to face to become well-known? You know, I think it's, it's, it's like an ending industry. There's a lot of rejection, and there's a lot of people that tell you you can't do it, and what's most important is, is, is keeping the people you love and admire most close to you. And believing in yourself and, and just, and just loving what you do. If you love what you do and you're passionate about it and you're hardworking and you have that drive, then nothing, nothing can stop you. So that really yes. helps me. Yeah. And how was it when you first worked with, uh, Kurt Snyder? Oh, it was awesome. I mean, Kurt's, Kurt's the man. We're, we're like brothers now, even though we're in New York City and half in Woodstock, New York. So I was born in, in Manhattan and I uh, moved up to uh, Woodstock, New York for elementary and middle school, and then I moved back to uh, to Manhattan for high school. So sort of my upbringing was all in New York City and New York. Yes, and um, when did you first start to sing, um, act, dance, and model? Uh, I, saw, I did my first show when I was when I was five. I was in a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and I played uh-huh. the Ooba and uh and I was the youngest kid in the, in the theater company in Woodstock. Uh, but even before that, I saw my first Broadway show when I was four. I saw Beauty and the Beast. And, uh, and I came home from seeing the show and I just, I, I reenacted the entire show on my living room table for my family. That's great to hear. Thank you for tuning in, um, to eGems Radio. I'm Stacey Monroe. Joining me is Max Snyder. Hey. Hey, Max. When did you first start, to, uh, when did you first audition for the show How to Rock? Uh, I auditioned, uh, early last year. And uh, I was actually uh, in callback for, for Rag, the movie I did for Nickelodeon as well. And uh, and the How to Rock audition just came up one week. I've, I've been auditioning for Nickelodeon for a few years now, different auditions. And and, uh, and this audition came up on a Saturday, which is kind of rare. Usually your auditions are weekdays. But my agent called me the day before and said, hey, there's this pilot audition. Can you go in tomorrow? 
So I went in and it just and it just hit. The car was right and and I, I had the call back on the Monday and